Today we're going to be talking about naming and writing formulas of covalent compounds. Covalent compounds are composed of nonmetals that are bonded by covalent bonds. These covalent compounds have chemical formulas, and for covalent compounds, they use prefixes in their name to symbolize the number of each element in the compound. And here are the list of our prefixes. For one, it's mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hecta, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nona, and 10 is deca. You do not need to memorize these prefixes. These prefixes will be in the, uh, the back size of your flowchart. So let's go ahead and do examples of uh, naming covalent compounds. Again, for all these, we're going to be starting on our given chemical formula um, using the, that same flowchart we used last lesson. So first problem, we have NO. We are given a chemical formula because we know it has atomic symbols. Atomic symbols gives us an idea, okay, that is a chemical formula. We're going to box any polyatomic ions present. We only have two different types of elements, so there's not going to be any polyatomic ions. So we're going to box any elements left over, which is our nitrogen and oxygen, so two different boxes. Looking at our first box, nitrogen. Is it a metal, NH4, or a nonmetal? Well, nitrogen is a nonmetal, so we're going to take the bottom track this time. We're going to write prefix of number of first box. Well, there is no number after the first box. And remember, chemistry, we never write one, so we know there's one of our first box. And one has a prefix of mono, but we do not start our name with mono. No mono to start. So since we would use the prefix mono for our first box, we're just going to skip that step and move on. But if it was two, three, four, or higher, we would have to use that prefix. So we're just going to write the name of the first box. First box we have is nitrogen. Now we're going to write the prefix of number of our second box. Looking at our second box, again, there's no number after our second box, so that number is going to be one. Prefix for one is mono. And we only use mono for our second box, so we have to write mono now. Then we're going to write the name of our second box with ID ending, like we did last time. Our second box is oxygen, but oxygen is going to become oxide. So we have nitrogen, monoxide. We're not going to have the double O here, so really we're just going to combine those two, the last O from mono and the O from oxygen into one O. Just grammatically correct. Number two, we have N2O. Again, we are given a chemical formula because it has atomic symbols. So given chemical formula, box any polyatomic ions present. For this one, we do not have any, any present because it's only just two different elements. So we're just going to box any elements left over. So we have nitrogen and oxygen. Looking at our first box, our first is our first box a metal, NH4 or a nonmetal? Well, nitrogen is a nonmetal. So we're going to write the prefix of the number of our first box. Our first box, we have two. The prefix for two is die. So we're going to start off our name with die. Then we're going to write the name of our first box. Our first box is N, which is nitrogen. So our first word is going to be dinitrogen. Then we're going to write the prefix of the number of our second box. Looking at our second box, we only have one because there's no number after it. And the prefix for one is mono. And we're going to name the second box with ID ending. Our second box is oxygen. Well, oxygen will become oxide. So we have dinitrogen monoxide. So with that idea, go ahead and do problems number three and four on your own. Pause the video, and when you have your answer, press play. And here's your answer. Number three is disulfur trichloride. And number four is dichlorine heptoxide. Now, hepta is HP. H-E-P-T-A, but because we have an A-O, whenever you have an A-O, you're just going to drop the A and just finish it off with oxide. Just another uh, spelling rule we have when we do prefixes. Let's go ahead and do the opposite now. Now we're going to write the formulas. So this time you're going to be given a name and we're going to write the formulas. So problem number one, we have carbon tetrafluoride. Looking at our first word carbon, is it a metal, ammonium, or a nonmetal? Well, carbon is a nonmetal. So we're going to underline all of our prefixes. We have tetra. 
Now, carbon does not have a prefix. Remember, we never wanted to start our name with mono, so we wouldn't write a prefix. So we're going to visualize or imagine that mono is before carbon. We're going to write the atomic symbol of our first word. Well, carbon's atomic symbol is C. Then we're going to write the subscript of the first prefix. Now, we just said we're going to think there's mono there. Mono is one. But in chemistry, we never write ones. So we're just going to imagine we're writing a one, but there's not going to be a one because we don't write ones. The write the atomic symbol of our second word. Well, our second word is fluoride. Fluoride is fluorine, which has an atomic symbol of F. And then write subscript of second prefix. Our second prefix is tetra. Tetra is number four. Therefore, our subscript is going to be four. So we have CF4 for number one. Number two, we have disulfur heptanitride. Uh, looking at our first word, disulfur, so the element is sulfur. Is it a metal, ammonium, or nonmetal? Well, sulfur is a nonmetal, so we're going to underline all prefixes. So we have di and hepta. We're going to write the atomic symbol of our first word. Sulfur is our first word, atomic symbol S. We're going to write the subscript of our first prefix. We have di as our first prefix. Di is 2. Then our atomic symbol of our second word, which is nitride. Nitride is nitrogen, so we have an atomic symbol of capital N. Then we're going to write the subscript of our second of our second prefix. Second prefix is hepta. Hepta is 7. So we have S2N7. So with that idea, go ahead and do problems 3 and 4 on your own. Pause the video, and when you have your answer, press play. And here's your answer. And that is it. Thanks, guys.